hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you just on miriam ashabi morok peda well you might be wondering who this is this is none other than the five year old little girl left behind by late moji olaya well she's no longer a little girl as she's growing in good health in grace and in wisdom it was just like yesterday when moji olaya passed away in 2017 and this has just been five years well wonder who brought this to limelight it was none other than the first child of moji olaya adon who took to her instagram page to celebrate her younger sister and added the caption saying happy fifth birthday to my princess i love you so much my baby and i'm so proud of you i pray that god will continue to make you a source of joy for me big five is finally here we won't hear what today i hope you have fun today dr ashley love you end quote this was the teenager left behind by moji olaya name is adonlua farombi she's 23 years old this year as she celebrated her birthday in february adonlua who after two years lost her mother decided to remember her she took to her instagram page she shared that she had been crying and she never thought she would be able to live without her mother as her mother was her backbone and a comforter at the same time she said she doesn't want to cry anymore as she knows her mother is in a better place two years after losing her mother she took to her instagram page and shared and said and i quote two years ago today marks the day since you've been gone and i don't know how i've been able to continue without you you were my backbone your passing is still a very sensitive topic to me anybody that knows me knows that i don't talk about it words can explain how much i miss you there are nights that when i think of you i cry but i don't want to do that anymore i know you are in a better place watching over me my guiding angel end quote this was what she wrote two years after her mother passed of course adon lua had a good relationship with her mother because her mother had a second child almost 15 to 17 years for having a second child part of what contributed to the passing of mojolaya was due to childbirth complication because at the time she was having a second child she was already 42 years of age and doctors usually advise that at this time and at this age women should be resting from childbirth well as god will have it it was around this time she got pregnant and of course she's old enough and she had just one daughter there it's usually a belief for yoruba people that if you have one child it's better to have another one so that one child can have a companion rather than just having just one child and at the same time some people believe that oh you have one child something could happen to the other child and then it's better to have another child as a backup plan i don't know why a lot of africans have that mentality i know in 2017 describing the passing of her mother she stated that her mother had spoken to her that day in fact she had explained and told her that oh her younger sister is doing excellently well and everything is fine only for her to receive a call that her mother had passed she said in her words and i quote this is the worst kind of news anyone can hear I speak with her on the day she died and nothing prepared me for this bad news. We had a good time over the phone and she told me how my sister was doing and all. I will miss her love and care because she always provided anything I wanted. And that was the last time I knew Lua Farumbi heard from her mother Muji. Well, a few days before her passing, she had shared on her social media page what would be called her last post. On her verified Instagram page, she said, Alhamdulillah to you Allah, I give all the glory for all you have done. I will forever praise and worship you. It's not by power, but the grace of Allah. Thank you for the gift of life. Thanks all to all my friends and family, my fans, for your support and prayers. Love you all. End quote. And this was what our fans and followers, loved ones, heard last of her on social media. The sudden news of her death came as a heavy blow and a shock to everyone. As Mojolaya was healthy, she was fine, and she was okay, even after the birth of our child it passed in may but then our daughter's birthday is here in march and she's clocking five so which states that she had had a baby two months before her passing the news of her death shocked a lot of people and it sparked a lot of controversy as some people said it was a spiritual attack some people said she was poisoned some people said it was a cardiac arrest some people also said it was childbirth 
complication. A close friend of ours, whose name is Mrs. KG, stated that the sudden death of her friend Mujolaya could be a spiritual attack. She explained further, saying and stating that the actress had placed several clothes from her base in Canada to complain of being uncomfortable. She further stated that her baby was born prematurely. Her EDD was for May 2017, but complications arose that necessitated that she be induced to save the baby's life as well as hers. But since the delivery in March, her health had not been exactly perfect. She said that at around 10 p.m. Canadian time, 3 a.m. Nigerian time, Moji went into crisis, her blood pressure shot up, and she became unconscious. An ambulance was called to transport her to the hospital. But her case worsened and she gave up the ghost before they could make it to the hospital. This was our friend KJ stating what would be considered the cause of the death of Muji Elia. Elia was said to have died two years after the passing of her younger brother, Bidemi Olaya, who also passed same May 4th, 2015. Well, she received a lot of tributes and elegies from fans, followers, and loved ones. As we all know that rumor spreads like wildfire. Mujolaya was rumored to have been poisoned and this didn't sit well with her family as they put out a note of warning stating that whoever is behind this saying all these terrible things about their sister and their daughter should desist from this as the autopsy doesn't reveal that any form of iota of poison was in her system. The original autopsy documents which was received by the younger brother of the deceased and they stated that whoever is spreading this rumor is evil and have no respect for the dead they further stated that karma like kinetic energy will locate and find such detractors using the vulnerability and anonymity of social media as a channel to perpetrate their motive Mojo Elias first daughter Adola, is a graduate of Babcock University she studied international laws and yes she's doing excellently well for herself it's all without the help of her mother's friends in the Nollywood industry Moji tried to give love a second chance but because her first daughter said she wasn't comfortable with the man she married to this was why she dissolved it and he hit the rock so the lifestyle of a single parenting kick-started after this and Adam's birthday falls on the same February 25th just like her mother Adola and Miriam Ashabi Morokpeda both stayed with their grandma in Magudu and they were both raised by their grandma after their mother passed Moji Alaya who has contributed immensely to the growth of Nollywood made a mark on the sand of time can never be forgotten from generations to generations well we pray that our soul continues to rest in perfect peace and for the children God will continue to be their guide and their guard as they grow in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we say a happy birthday to Miriam Ashabi Morokweda. She celebrates a big five today. Well, guys, they have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.